Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, in this video, I'm going to actually dye my hair. I'm going to show you guys how I dye my hair um, at home. So I don't have the time to go to the salon to go get it done. And usually I really don't trust a lot of people with my hair. I've had bad experiences in the past. So when I find somebody that does my hair, I like to stick with them. And I've lived here for quite some time now in Georgia and I haven't found anybody to really color my hair or treat my hair so I have been doing my hair for the past few years um, when I lived in Florida I had someone that did my hair and it was the one person that I had that did my hair since I was a teenager and I don't like a lot of people playing in my hair so that's the reason I haven't found anybody yet so um, yeah I'm just gonna share with you guys how I dye my hair and the color that I like to usually use is um, like the intense blue black color um, I haven't dyed my hair in a few months actually like maybe half a year already just because I just really haven't had the time or the need to do it um, but I do like to have my hair really black I like the intensity of it and I usually dye it around like the winter months around the cold season um, I like to have it a really really intense black it's now February so winter is clearly gone but we're still feeling some winter weather um, some days it's hot some days it's cold some days some days it's snowing some days it's raining it's just really crazy this um, season but anyway getting off track I am uh, gonna be using the Garnier Nutrice no, the video is not sponsored. This is the hair color I usually use. I usually use this one or the um, Feria, Feria, the the darkest black one. So those are the two that I usually use. I picked up this one, and the reason I like this one is because it has like um, like the oil in it. I'm gonna show you. So I'll just share the package that it comes that everything comes with it um, this is the developer it usually comes in this package here this is the cream color um, and it says it has like avocado in there so you just usually squeeze this into the developer and then you shake it up and uh, yeah you just squeeze it in here so it comes with this and this um, it comes with this conditioner. I, I don't usually use these conditioners that come in here. I use my own deep conditioning treatment. And I just I just never use them. There's no real reason. I just never use these. So it usually just goes to waste. But what I was showing you guys is um, this fruit oil concentrate. And it comes in this little packet here. I just love how it makes my hair feel and how it smells. It smells like really fruity, like not too intense, but it feel, it smells like a nice refreshing sweet scent. Um, and I love how it makes my hair feel. You know, usually when you dye your hair, or especially if you're bleaching it, it, it has like that dry texture to it. Well, with this, even though I'm not bleaching it, but I'm dyeing it black. Um, it doesn't have a, a grainy feel to it. It just makes it like feel nice and smooth and soft and My hair it comes out naturally bouncy like it would normally come out bouncy when I usually wash it every week but this gives it some extra nourishing so Yeah, let's get into it. All right, so I like to use the gloves that it comes with Usually I have my own gloves. I like the fitted gloves but I'm not going to get it right now. So what I'm doing is I'm actually just putting everything together before I take down my hair. And I open the tip of this first because it's like under pressure. So if you do it before, if you add this, the cream to it before, I like think like the fumes the ammonia in it it just causes like a big explosion kind of <laughs> so I like to just pop the top off before I add the the color to the developer so we're just gonna put that in all 
All right, then after I put the, um, the color into the developer, I'm going to add this concentrate, the fruit oil concentrate to this container. Usually it's supposed to pop right off, but it's not, so I'm just gonna cut it. And then put the gloves on. All right, so we're gonna start with the roots first and then work it all the way out to the rest of the hair. And let's get started. In the light, you'll see that it kind of like emits a little bit of red or like Auburn, whatever. Color developers like changing colors in here, so I'm gonna start applying it to my scalp. All right, so I've done my scalp. Now I'm just gonna take the rest and do the rest of the hair. And then once that is done, I just like to massage my whole hair, and as you can see, we got some hair, but I'll clean that up in a minute. I don't even know how the back of my neck is looking, but we'll work it out. And then for the edges and stuff, I'm just gonna take some alcohol and a swab and just wipe around the edges. Is now six, eight, 19. So we're gonna let it sit for about 24 minutes. And I will be back to check in with you guys. It's been well over 25 minutes. Um, I've been here running around doing some work and stuff. Um, so it's been about, about 45 minutes, maybe 50. So I'm just gonna get in the shower and wash it all out. And we'll see how it looks. Hey guys, okay, so I'm out of the shower and it took me forever <laughs> to actually wash it out. Um, the whole shower was a mess. And what I did is I just got in the shower and shampooed my hair normally because the dye doesn't lather up like shampoo. So I just added my shampoo and I washed it like two times. And then I went in with my normal conditioner and I let it sit for a second, um, actually a couple minutes. And then I um, washed it out until it was as clear as I could get it, because it's not gonna be totally clear. Um, and then towards the end, um, I washed it with warm water, and then towards the end, I washed it with like a cooler water. Um, so that's how you normally at the end when I wash my hair, I normally just wash it out with um, cool water anyway. So yeah, that's what I did. So 
I just got out of the shower, just got dressed and everything, so I am going to take this towel off now so we can see how we're looking. Not much of a difference, I just like the fact that it's darker. Um, I'm going to let it air dry and I'm going to add this organic Japanese camellia seed oil. So I got this on Amazon and I'm going to use this along with along with some of this serum. So I'm going to take a couple drops of this, like literally only like maybe one, two, three, four drops for my whole head. And I'm going to start at the bottom. And I'm getting a lot of shedding. And then I'm just going to work the rest of it into my scalp. And then I'm going to take like maybe two pumps, three pumps of this serum and do the same thing. I usually let it air dry just because um, I'm going to get a lot of shedding anyway, but to prevent breakage because your hair is a lot weaker when it's wet. So I just let it air dry. And then I will probably go through with my wet comb, wet brush. So I'll usually go back in with my hair after it's dried with my wet brush, I guess. So I'll just comb through it. Hey guys, okay, so it has been um, a full day maybe, like, because I, I think I dyed it at night and now it's in the day. It's around 12 o'clock, so I'm just letting you guys see how it looks uh, because of the sun coming in and natural lighting. So this is the color and this is my natural hair, so it has a lot of body to it. And sometimes I just keep it like this. Most times I just pull it back if it's out or I will flat iron or curl it and it'll get a lot sleeker but I just don't like to apply a lot of heat to my hair so if I don't have any plans for that week or the next few days before I wash it again I usually just go all natural and yeah I just walk around like this or I just keep it in a ponytail or with like a bun and yeah that's just what I do anyway um hope I was able to help I love my hair dark I love it love it love it black um I've had my hair uh, different colors <laughs> in the past, but for some reason I just love dark. Just it, On me, it looks a lot healthier, it looks shiny, especially if I do it straight now, it's just gonna look so shiny, especially with the products that I use. It's going to actually bring out the color more, if possible. Anyway, um, I will end the video here and I'll see you guys in another one.